Today on the RBCS, we have a matchup between a cold-blooded killer. It's early damage taken. Oh, and he takes takes damage to his character. And he knocked. And a tournament favorite who looks just as or even more deadly. Who will come out victorious when these two titans of the RBCS enter the arena? Only time will be able to tell. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second season of the RBCS. Thank you very much, RBCS announcer guy, for making that intro. It was really cool. I think people at home probably really enjoyed it. Anyways, today we have a matchup between two bots that could quite possibly go on to take this tournament. Whirlwind and Checkers are the bots fighting today. Both of them have a body spinner type uh, type approach to things. So, for Coolis and the uh, Whirlwind, the middle of the bot, like the main part of the bot, is it's actually a spinner, as you can see from the one clip of it in the intro. But for uh, Checkers, Checkers has the other approach where the main part doesn't spin, but its weapon folds out from the sides and spins around extremely fast. So we're going to have to see which one is better. Now, I'm going to have to make pr my predictions today. I think that Whirlwind will probably be better out of the gate, just because Whirlwind's already fought in the arena, there will be no nerves. But for someone like, um, for someone like Checkers, I don't know if Checkers is going to have nerves or not coming into this battle. I mean, I know that it's like not the biggest stage in the world on my YouTube channel, but I just think that Whirlwind might be able to take the first two games. But for overall, I think this might go five. I mean, this is, looks like a really intense matchup between these two. I'm picking Checkers to win because he's my favorite to win the tournament. I think he has the best bot out of everyone, but we'll have to see. Anyways, looks like RBCS announcer guy is ready for us again, so let's get ready and let's introduce the battle bots. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second season of the RBCS. Today we have another match from the round of eight. On the white side, we have Snow riding in checkers. And on the black side, we have Coolest 24 riding in Whirlwind. Okay, well you both know the rules. If you get pushed out of the arena or you are unable to move, it'll be counted as a knockout. If the arena is damaged and needs to be respawned, then you will not be able to despawn until the arena is back and you finish your match. And if you use the flip tool, you automatically forfeit the round. Same with Gravity Slider, and if I suspect that you have the PvP tool, if you turn off PvP, uh, if I suspect that, then you will be automatically, uh, forfeiting that round of the match. And lastly, be sure to have a good sport. Make sure to be a good sport, because that's what this is all about. Alright, well, this is a highly anticipated match. I think everyone's looking forward to. You have two bots that are just using big spinners as their weapons. They both look insanely tough, and they both show that they have a lot of they've both shown that they have a lot of destructive power in the past. Anyways, I think the RBCS is saying that we are good to go to start this match. Um, as I said in the pregame show, before we start, I'm just going to say it again. My prediction is that this is going to game five. I think both these bots are very evenly matched. But in the end, I still think that it's going to be Checkers taking the W. Anyways, the RBCS says we're good to go. So we're good to go. And they're off. The opening charge is brought to you by the YouTube subscribe button. Make sure to press it to support the channel. Well, they're both off and spinning. We're going to have to see in the middle who's going to make first contact. I know they're both going to be very... Uh, they're both going to try not to make much contact with each other because stuff like that's going to happen. Well, big explosion right off the bat. Both of them taking a pretty much, pretty good amount of damage. We'll have to see how this keeps going. Checkers comes in. Sends Whirlwind off to the side. What happened to Checkers there? Checkers got flung across the arena. Checkers sitting in the middle trying to camp out Whirlwind. Trying to keep him Whirlwind to the side. I think that's going to be a big key to this battle is whoever owns the middle is going to be pretty much owning the battle. Because both of these bots are capable of flinging the other out of the arena. We're getting close to passing the 40 second mat mark in this match, which means that we've actually had a decent match so far. Both of them, just playing it carefully. Coolest losing most of his weapon. Oh no, that spells disaster for him. And he's just going to have to try to push him out of the arena. I mean, he's still functioning, so I don't see why the battle wouldn't be able to continue. See them in the middle. He's just kind of getting rocked. Man, I don't know how he's going to continue with this battle. And he's done, and he's been killed. Well, that was a good match between them. I... I can't say I didn't expect that. I mean, that battle went to a minute. Um, but then Checkers gets the W. It's up. He's up one nothing in the series. But you can see just how damaged his bot is after that match. His actual weapon. I think if Whirlwind could just get a few more good hits in, then Whirlwind might be able to disable his bot and really start standing a chance in this battle. Well, as you can see there, Checkers took game one. Uh, it is the best of five, so... Whirlwind still has a very good chance of coming back. This has a lot of time, has a good chance of coming back. So we're waiting to get the go from the RBCS. And we're off. 
The opening charge, once again, brought to you by the YouTube subscribe button, as it always is. They're going to try to make first contact here in the middle. We're one losing a block early, but I don't think it was a very vital part of the bot. bot. Okay, we're going to watch from the overhead view. Watch as these two probably explode. We're only getting knocked over night slightly, but not losing much of its weapon. Both of them almost... I think both of them are completely sped up now. Both of their bots you really got the speed going. Have to see Rowan goes in again. Rowan trying to just make the best of the situation because you get close to checkers and you're just going to get owned. Oh, but he kind of throws checkers across the arena there. Good move there from uh, the Rowan. Have to see how their strategies play out. I mean, they both have very similar bots. Oh, and they both explode. Big damage there. Both of them taking big hits. This is going to be interesting. Checkers might be a little bit off balance now because he's lost one of his hammers. Whirlwind comes in, starts Beyblading on him. Oh my, what a hit and what a play. He started driving on top of him with this blade turned down and started cutting into the bot. They're both lagging a bit as uh, my ping starts to uh, suck. We'll have to see. I don't think that uh, Checkers will be able to do much here. All Coolis has to do is not suicide. And I think that's it for Checkers. And that is the end of the match. Another match that went to a minute long, a relatively long match here in the RBCS. Both bots giving a very good effort and giving us a very entertaining battle. I think if we look at the instant replay, it really came down to that definitive moment where the Whirlwind just kind of popped up on top of Checkers and just started sawing into him. Uh, so just ignore the bumpkin. He's just kind of like running through the field. He's like a streaker at like a sports event. Um, but it's tied one to one. So I think we have a good another good series in hand. We'll have to see what happens in the next round. All right. Well, game two is very entertaining. We're tied up at one to one. Game three on the way here. Whoever wins this match will be up in the series and will have a chance to finish it in the next round. So this is a very important match. RBCS says that we are good to go. And we're off. The opening charge brought to you by the YouTube subscribe button. Now, they're both probably going to be a little bit cautious here. They both know the destructive power of each other. No, Whirlwind's just going to go in. And Checkers explodes. Oh my, this could be a very big upset in this match. <laughs> just ignore... The, okay, Bumpkin's just being stupid. Uh, I'm going to probably have to punish him in the RBCS after this one. But they're both going at it. Checkers eating the most of the impact here. This is very interesting so far. Goes in again. Whirlwind just trying. Trying to top off Checkers last hammer. If he could do that, there's no way he loses this battle. But he also has to get close enough and not get flung. They're both playing it by ear. Trying to make sure that they don't get owned by each other. And another big hit. Whirlwind disables him again. Whirlwind might have a chance to take the series lead here. He just has to make sure he doesn't get flung out of the arena. This is interesting because I don't know how, to, I don't know how this is going to work. Because I know Checkers, like Checkers could still technically fling him out of the arena because he still has a spinning blade going. Oh, and Whirlwind, Whirlwind's skirting across the arena. Oh, he still stays in. And it looks like Checkers, Checkers can still move. And the battle continues. But Whirlwind has to be careful there. He's going on top of the bandsaw. Uh, damn, this battle is interesting. It doesn't look like Checkers can move too well. He doesn't have much control. All Whirlwind needs to do is go in there, do a little bit more damage, and he can finish off this match for good. We'll have to see, though, because he has to get close and make sure he doesn't fling himself out of the arena. That could be it. Can Checkers still move? I need to see movement from Checkers. And Checkers has been knocked out again. He cannot move. He gets stuck on top of the little wedges on the side there. If you look down from this angle, you can see he kind of gets caught up on the edge there and can't move any longer. Well, Coolest 24 in the whirlwind could have a chance to move on to the quarterfinals and face against Slavbot. I mean, this is a big upset this happens. Checkers is a favorite to win the tournament. Checkers is actually one of my own favorites to win the tournament just because his weapon is so powerful. But we'll have to see here as we move into the next round. Okay, well, we're going to be moving into game four here with a chance to clinch. So it's a serious clinching opportunity for Whirlwind. Whirlwind being an underdog in this uh, tournament, at first I thought his bot was very bad, so I put him lower in the bracket, but he seems to be working his way up and he's starting to become more of a titan in this tournament. But Checkers is not out of it yet. Checkers could uh, force a game five if he wins here. We'll have to see if we could get to that point because that's what I predicted was a game five. Maybe we get back-to-back -back weeks with one of those. Anyways, the RBCS saying that we're good to go. There's the bell, and they're off. The opening charge brought to you by the YouTube subscribe button. Checkers having issues getting into the arena, but he was never technically out of it. We'll have to see the opening charge from this angle. We'll watch it from this angle now. They both kind of get flung a little bit. We're watching from the top-down view from the uh, scoreboard cam. Both of them just taking some little shots early. None of them being too aggressive, trying to play it. I mean, to be fair, Checkers needs to be careful because if he loses this match, he'll be out. And Whirlwind just needs to make sure that it doesn't, you know do anything too stupid like right there lost a bunch of parts and a big big explosion we'll have to see though I I'm not sure it seems like this match is really going the way of checkers so far all checkers has to do is kind of sit there and let Whirlwind run into it because Whirlwind has much less range than checkers has interesting so far to see their tactics they're both just kind of playing playing time from the looks of it 
I wouldn't be surprised. Well, I would be surprised, but I also wouldn't be surprised at the same time if this battle went to went to time. But it looks so far that they're both starting to get a little bit more aggressive, starting to make, take a little bit more risks, and they're both kind of running into each other a whole lot more. Checkers hits Whirlwind. Whirlwind losing more pieces. Whirlwind just looks like a, like, I don't know, like a fossil of what it once was. It looks like a skeleton. It's losing a bunch of its pieces, but it's still functioning, and it still has part of its weapon there. I don't know if it has any cutters left on it. That'll be a big key to see how it wins. No, he definitely doesn't have any cut cutters left now. Now Checkers, all he has to do is just come at him and push him around the arena a little bit. This match has gone on for a minute at this point. And it's been a very entertaining one. Checkers just needs to hope that it doesn't lose its wheels or flies out of the arena. But as long as Kulis is still able to move and still able to make plays, he's still in it. Oh no, Checkers lost a wheel. This could be a big upset. But I don't think Kulis can move anymore. Wait, he is moving. He is moving. Is he moving? The RBCS is going to have to rule this match over. And we're going to see another Game 5. That might be one of the longest matches we've seen this season. Almost making it to two minutes. Congratulations to both bots, uh, and I look forward to seeing this Game 5, because this has been a very intense series so far, and it's definitely been worth the hype that I've been seeing on the Discord. We'll have to see in Game 5, though, who comes out on top. I'm still saying I predicted Checkers to win this tournament in 5. Not tournament, win this round in 5. Match. Match. That's what I'm looking for. Sorry. Even though I'm the announcer, I'm not perfect. But uh, we'll have to see. All the special effects are turned on, as ordered by the RBCS, because it is a Game 5, and it's an important round. Uh... I just got to make sure both the competitors are ready, and I think we'll be good to go. Well, both of our competitors have confirmed that they are ready to start this match. I'm ready to start this match. Everyone at home, I think, is ready to start this match. So let's get it underway. And there's the bell. Opening charge brought to you by the YouTube subscribe button. Whirlwind running in. Whirlwind explodes against the side. He's not out of the arena, is he? He's out of the arena, and Checkers wins it in five. That is, might be a new record fastest match. I'm not sure. I don't have the numbers in front of me, but we'll cover it in the post-game show. But Checkers defeats Whirlwind. Comes back from a 3-1, well, two, from a 2-1 hole. Comes back and wins the round, and he'll be moving on to the next round to face against uh, Slavbot. I mean, dude, that was very quick, and I'm very surprised. Do you know, after watching the first few battles, I thought that that was all Coolis has to win. I thought that Coolis had it in the bag. But in the end, our victor's right there. So I'm going to have to get down on the field for an interview. Let's head to the postgame show. Welcome to the uh, interview. We're gonna have to do a unconven unconventional type of interview because he can't get out of his bot because it's kind of he's kind of trapped inside of it. But uh, so I know you're currently getting killed by uh, Bumpkin, which is kind of stupid. But I want to ask you a question. So coming into this match, like, did you have a strategy? Because both of your bots were really like similar, like your body spinners and stuff like that. So what was your, like, your strategy? I had no strategy. Um. I just found out in the game, I guess. Uh, you kind of just played it by ear? You're just like, eh. Yeah, just game. I mean, I don't really yeah, see a strategy yeah. to the match. Also, it'd be really nice if Bumpkin could stop, you know, abusing the person I'm trying to talk to, but... Uh, so, oh, really? have you seen Slavbot? I, I haven't seen Slavbot much recently. I just know he has a new bot, and it looks relatively cool. He was kind of building it one day, and I kind of saw it. And I haven't seen Slavbot at all, no. So... I know you haven't seen him, but are you just, I feel like he's an ominous present, because ominous presence, because he's not really, like, around. So are you kind of scared by him at all? Um, not really. I can't be scared of something I don't know, you know? Fair enough. Well, I think that but, is about it for the interview, unless you have some words you want to say to the audience. Uh, uh, I was going to say that uh, in round five, I just hit him on the side to fling him out, because I realized that if you go head on, it doesn't it just breaks my thing, so... Actually, that's a good question. What would you consider the side of his bot, considering his bot, like, is just a giant spinner that spins in a direction? What would you well, consider the side? I have no idea. I just know that <laughs> if my bot... Wait, there goes the arena! Oh, I thought we were, dude, I thought we were gonna go an episode without the arena glitching out and dying. Well Thank God we got another one. We gotta chalk that up on the, cou uh, chalk that up on the counter for uh, arena failures. Anyways, do you have any words for the audience before we go? My bot's more deadlier if it hits from the side than the front. Okay. Well, I think that's about it. Let's send it back up to Zuggy J in the broadcast booth. Welcome back to the broadcast booth. I'm Zuggy J. And I think I can get used to this. We got back-to-back -back weeks which, with a match that went to five games. It's been very entertaining. 
I can't wait to see what comes up next in the RBCS, and I'll actually give you guys a little sneak peek into what is happening next in the RBCS. Next time I see you guys, we'll be having the Viper vs. Bumpkin battle, and we'll be having the Boxbot vs. Demon of the North battle. The Viper battle, um, we've already recorded that one, but we're going to cut it up and show you guys the highlights, because once again, I don't want to show you guys very boring videos, so... Um, We'll cut that up in the highlights and show up before the main event, which will be Boxbot versus Demon of the North. We haven't recorded that yet, so I'm still anticip I don't know what's going to happen yet, and I'm really looking forward to it. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to press a like on the video. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 1.5k by the end of October, and we're getting relatively close to the end of October, guys. So, you guys got to start subbing. And uh, if you want to join these tournaments, which you can't join right now because, of course, submissions are closed. But if you want to get in in the future, be sure to click the Discord link in the description. I think that's about it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.